What's going on, guys? I'm Brian. I'm Mike. You like that? I am Mike, like I am Groot. I am Mike. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> um, welcome to another edition of the Stump Club. And today we are continuing our road to Infinity War with Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. It's such a good movie. It really is. It's got all the <laughs> so all the stuff. I remember when I first saw it, because you know what really sucks now is that every time that you're waiting for a Marvel movie to come out, and like, especially with the new, with the ones coming out here soon with Infinity oh, War. God. Oh yes. Um, give it to me. The hype is so big. It is that it almost ruins the movie. You know what else the hype is big for? What? Our next giveaway. That is true, but we'll get to that. We'll get to that. There, are hype, there is big hype for that. But um, so this movie, this this movie, because I saw it on the opening day. I did too. And because it came out, it, the funny thing is, it came out the 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 Friday before Free Comic Book Day. So we went and saw the movie on Friday. And we got comic books. And then we went and got comic books. And then I also went and got the Dairy Queen Awesome Mix, which I wish they never got rid of. Wow, um, you're really upset about I that. am upset. It was so good. It was brookies and stuff. Anyway, so I saw it, and I'm like, this is a really good movie. But I was disappointed by it. Yeah. When you really? first see it. I, in all honesty, I was. I think the hype killed it for me. Yeah. And that really sucked. Right. Which is why I'm afraid to see. I'm really excited to see uh, Infinity, War. Infinity War, but I'm so afraid the hype is going to kill it for me. I hope it doesn't. I, I need it. So do I. But, um, That'd be super disappointing if it does. It would be. So, because... The first, the, the my number one movie for the entire cinematic universe is Guardians One. Really? Oh, I, that's my favorite movie. Oh no way, Winter Soldier. Dude, the, so we'll get into this really quickly. The reason why is because it was everybody knew Captain America was. Everybody knew who Iron Man was. Everybody yeah. knows who the Hulk is. Nobody, they really scraped the bottom of the barrel for Guardians of the Galaxy. They're like, hey, let's make another movie, but what do we do? I don't know. Let's look in the comic book hole. Like, yeah. What is this? It's a movie. It's, in if you look at it, I personally, I don't like it. And originally, like Groot, yeah, was supposed to be a bad guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, and wow. Rocket is not a robot that they made. It was or basically like a the machine that they basically made. He had his own planet as a planet full of Scottish raccoons. <laughs> and I'm not even lying to you. It's oh, true. Oh my gosh. So you go and see this movie, and it just blows it out of the water. Yeah, it's oh, yeah. such a good movie. Yeah. And it became my favorite movie. I one love the, it's one of the better ones. I love Captain America. I really do. I love those movies. I like oh. the Avengers. I like the I like the last Thor, which we're gonna get to in two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. Um but Guardians was such a surprise to me that it became my favorite movie. And oh, so yeah. I was super hyped for Guardians too. <laughs> and then <laughs> You good? I'm good. Good to go. Um, and then I saw it, and I was like, this is a really good movie. Yeah. But I was disappointed by it because Aww. of the hype. Aww. So I went and saw it a second time, and I was like, you know what? This Because I'm like, it's not better than Guardians 1. No, it's not. But it's still a pretty good movie. But I went back and saw it, and I'm like, you know what? This is pretty damn close to it, though. Yeah. Like, th like it's like 1 in 1A for me. Oh, yeah. Like, I love this movie. So anyways, the plot is... Um... Uh, this is this actually takes place two months after the first one, so they're still early on in their hero. Yeah, right. Uh, they're on this planet. They get chased down by the Sovereign because they have to kill. What is, is that? A Leviathan? Is that was that what they call it in this? That a thing in the beginning. Big, big tentacle thing while Groot's dancing and nobody cares. Yeah, everybody's like, "Hey, it's Groot. Groot's dancing." Everybody's looking at Groot because yeah. he's adorable and he's a baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So good. <laughs> and uh I don't so, know what it is, but it's like the big tentacle monster that they have. Giant to tentacle monster. Um so there are these there's these people called the Sovereign and they're really uptight. They're actually they're legit gold. Yeah. They're they look they show their uptightness. They're they're uptight, they're they're prestigious and stuff like that. And they're like nobody makes fun of the sovereign or they'll or they'll get or they'll get destroyed yeah, and stuff like that. Right. So Rocket's best idea is to steal something from the Sovereign. Steal the thing they were protecting, which is these batteries. The uh, Harbulary batteries. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're called Amulac batteries. But Drysky called them Harbulary, and it's so funny. Man. Um, 
they chase the guardians, and then they and then all the ships get blown up, which that was really cool. Yeah, all the all the sovereign ships, and because they're they look like they're piloted from inside the ship, but they're actually not. They're like drones. They're drones that's controlled, and all you hear is these arcade noises. Yeah, from because everybody's just going and every, and everybody's basically playing like a racing game, right? Which is really cool. It's an arcade, yeah. right? Um, so they all get destroyed by. The little two-inch man. Oh. That's that's how Drax has described him. Um, anyway, but uh, they uh, they they meet the guy. And it's Ego, and he yeah. goes and he goes, which they gave us away in the trailer, so it's not really spoilers. Um, he goes, "I'm your dad, Peter." And Ego's played by uh, um, Kurt Russell. Kurt Russell, yeah. He's played by Kurt Russell, and they also introduce uh, they also introduce um, Mantis. Her her name is Palm something Palm yeah. like I can't remember what I can't remember what her last name is but her first name is Palm I know that um, Drax so they introduce this stuff um, Rocket's being a dick for some reason uh, Groot's, a, Groot's adorable dancing so and there's a whole story with Yondu where he basically gets taken out of the Ravagers oh yeah and like they 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 the they, they uh, and then his whole ship takes a mutiny on him and he, they kill everybody that decides to stay with Yondu but they don't kill Yondu yeah. and they get Rocket because they're going to go give him back to uh, the Sovereign and they're going to go give Yondu back to the Kree oh, yeah. and stuff like that and that's a whole other battle which is awesome because they they finally give Yondu the fin back in the comics oh the big one the big fin because I don't. I, when the first one came out, I have no idea what the Guardians of the Galaxy was. Yeah, no, no idea. Yeah, no, and no, then no. now it's probably I probably more popular. I'd probably say their third most popular yeah. uh, project right now. Oh yeah. Um, but originally, because I looked it up, Yondu was supposed to be, I believe, a prince of oh. his planet. Uh oh. And he actually does use a bow and arrow. Really? So that's oh, that's yeah. where that's where the arrow comes in. Yeah. I don't know where they got the whistle from, but it works. But it's sweet. Um, but there's a whole battle where Rocket and Groot and Yondu are all killing the Ravengers to uh, come a little bit closer, which is such a <laughs> one of my favorite parts. such a good part. Um, they go to Ego, which is the living planet, which by the way is a great name for Ego because he's so full of himself. Yeah, <laughs> mm -hmm. he wants the universe to be. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go into spoilers now. He wants the universe to be him. Yeah. And he needs Peter to do it too, which means Peter is technically like a demigod. Celestial. He's a demigod, like a celestial stuff like that. Um. So we're gonna skip a little bit because we don't want this to drag on like we did with the Civil War one. But so spoilers. So spoilers. Um. They're fun. They're fun. <laughs> not not that one just yet. <laughs> which one? Um. <laughs> Um. Uh, what's his name? Kurt Russell tells um, Star Lord that he put the tumor in his mom's head, and he basically and like, killed. Oh. So all of a sudden, it's Iron Man going, "You killed my mom." It's uh, Superman going, "Martha." <laughs> um. When when um, they revealed that, I'm like, oh no. Oh yeah, and. It's like a gut punch. Because I went, because because I went during the day last year when it came out, and all you hear from like the three or four people that was in me with the in the cinema with oh. me was, oh, oh shit, <laughs> um, oh no, and uh, so there's this huge battle when with the with the, the I'm just gonna say this really quickly the soundtrack of this is just as good as the first one. Yeah. Oh yeah. After cuz the funny thing is when again when this came out I'm like the soundtrack's not that good. And I like it's a really good soundtrack. It's such a good soundtrack. So good. Um but they're playing the chain by uh Fleetwood Mac. God, yeah. Such a good way to do it. They're just cuz Quill doesn't even think about it. He just no, as soon as he's like, yeah, I had to put the tumor in your mom's head. He's he just, and just it's, like split second and he oh, just yeah. pulls out the guns and starts <laughs> flashing just, at him. It's him. And um, he's like, "You killed my mother." I'm like, "Oh my god, I oh. can feel it." Oh. Um, they they have this whole fight where they actually burrow in to uh, the planet to ego the planet, and the sovereign come. There's this whole thing that they're fighting, and then the final like 
actual fight between Ego and Quill when they're doing the uh, they're building the rock formations and one's Ego and then one Pac-Man. Pac <laughs> the waka 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 waka. I did not see that coming. That was so hilarious. Because he was born in the eighties, so that's like when yeah. he was around. The uh, so that whole fight happens. Obviously, Ugo dies, um, which Thank means God. which means that Quill's now an orphan. <laughs> well, he was already an orphan. Um, Quill is now human. He's completely moral now. Oh yeah. Um. So the plant's exploding, and Yandu doesn't leave. Everybody else already left because they want, they had to escape. So, Not Qu- <laughs> um, <laughs> so Yandu goes up. He has the jetpack on, and he has one spacesuit. And they fly up, and as they're flying up, Yandu goes, "He may have been your father, boy, but he wasn't your daddy." And they go, and there's something along the lines of, "I know I wasn't, I know I wasn't great, but I'm glad that you're my boy." And I'm, and all of a sudden the tears. Oh, this is I, because obviously Yandu dies. He puts he puts the he puts the spacesuit on Quill so that he can breathe in space, and Yandu is just frozen there. You can see him frosting. Oh, over yeah, the the ice yeah. and oh, it was so sad. It still is, man. Oh I'm my god! Watch it. Every you know, single gone. time, and then they play a uh, father and son at the end ah. of it when all the ravagers come because they come the back for him, of course. Blowing all the stars, and if you listen to the song, it's so sad. Yeah, it's super sad because it's about a father that dies. Oh wow! Like <laughs> perfect, I oh. guess. I don't know. <laughs> oh. But uh, I will say this is the most emotional. I, this this has to be the most emotional uh, death in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I can't think of any other ones. I really can't. That's because this is the one. Like, well, I mean, like Eve Carter was pretty sad when she. It was sad, but it was well, not like this because she was old. Yeah, she was already old. I'm like, I cared about her, but this one, Yandu's like a badass. Yandu, he finally becomes a hero, and everybody loves Michael Rooker. Yeah, I, love, I mean, I know honestly, one of the main reasons I stopped watching The Walking Dead is because he died. Oh. Oh. Spoiler, spoiler, apparently. <laughs> um, even though that's what almost going on like ten five, years. five year, like five oh, seasons yeah. old, yeah. somewhere around there. Yeah, because I, I swear that was in season three, anyways. But um, because Carter wasn't that. In all honesty, she was sad, but it wasn't that sad. Yeah, it wasn't like, oh my god, this could, guy could actually be like a father. He's yeah. actually a hero, and now he's like frozen, dead in space. <laughs> yeah. Like, Damn. Um, Bucky, not really. Because we all knew what was going to happen. Yeah. Uh, King T'Chaka, because we only just met him. Yeah. So he didn't really develop. And then much. there's really like... Tony Stark's mom. That, see, the thing is, though, is like, that was more of a surprise than it was emotional. And then yeah. the emotion came from Tony, but it wasn't like it. It was more along the lines of "Oh my God, this is actually happening!" Yeah. Where they're fighting, right? But the whole motion was them fighting, and then they kind of ruined that when Rogers wrote to to uh, to Iron Man that if you ever need me, you can still call me. Oh yeah, all that stuff. So it kind of like shifted the emotion to be like you know what, everything's kind of okay. Right. It's not like full balance anymore, but yeah. it's still kind of okay. Uh-huh. Um, this is just like, no, he's done. He's done. You'll never see him again super in the Marvel depressing. Universe. And it's like super, super, super sad. And I, yeah. Oh, man. I love this movie so much, but I hate it because they kill one of the best characters. I met Michael Rooker at one of the, at one of the Comic-Cons. Oh. And I said to him, like, you are one of my favorite parts of Guardians because he opens up the orb of the first one and the freaking troll <laughs> dog. The wishing troll or whatever. <laughs> and he and he kept he keeps telling Quill he was gonna eat him when he, when oh, he picked man. him up and stuff you like told that. You're gonna eat me out, you just kidding. <laughs> I was just being funny. He's like, it's not funny to me. <laughs> so, but anyways, so moving he on. He dies. There's five ending credit scenes in this movie. Right. One is uh. What, what's what's the what's the guy's name? 
Uh, uh, who gets the fin after? Oh, I can't remember what his name was. Craglin? I think it's Craglin. So, yeah. Craglin. Oh, we forgot to mention Taserface. Oh, Taserface. The, 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 one of the funniest Taser characters. Face. So, this dude's a Ravager, and he's leading the rebellion against Yondu. And he goes, what's your name? He goes, Taserface. And I'll start laughing at him. And Rocket's like, wait, your name's Taserface? And he's just like, and he goes, so, let me get this straight. You woke up one morning and go, you know what would be a really kick-ass name? Taser Face! Everybody just starts dying. All the Ravagers start laughing so hard. And he's about to, But they blow up the ship that the, all the Ravagers are on. And he calls the Sovereign to give him the coordinates. So that's how the Sovereign got the yeah. ego. But um, the woman picks up and he goes, who is this? And, and he goes, I'm sending you the, cor- the coordinates to... Find Yondu and Danto, uh, and Danto, and he goes. But I want you to tell everybody who killed Yondu, Taserface. And she goes, <laughs> starts laughing. And she starts laughing so hard. But then she hangs up on him. <laughs> well, the ship blows up. So either way, no matter yeah. what happens. Yeah. Um, Technically. So, anyways, going back to the 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 credit five scenes. ending credit scenes, um, the ones with Craglin. And he's trying to figure out how to use the uh, arrow. The whistle. To use the whistle, and he he gets one good one, and it stabs Drax in the in the chest. And I hear. Ah! Oh, by the way, Dave Batista is a freaking treasure too. He really is. He is so good. I like him because he was in wrestling, but oh my god, he he just milks yeah. this part. Oh yeah. Everything that it has. I like. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go back here for a minute. Besides the scene, yeah. I like when Mantis has her hand in the ego. <laughs> the boulder hits her. Watch out! <laughs> I told her. Mantis, so look out! It stabs him. He's like, ah! ah! Just walks away slowly. <laughs> so Ooh. good. Um, the next one. God, what was the next one? There was the one where the the leader of the sovereign. Uh, Alicia, is that her name? Something like that. There's that, the one where Drax is stabbed. Then there's the, the Groot scene. The Groot, well, it's, it's uh, just a uh, teenage Groot. He's he's playing video games and his room's all full of roots. And Starler comes, Starler comes in, comes and he's in. sassing him. It's so good, he's like, I'm Groot. <laughs> just angsty teenage Groot. Um... There's that one. There's, There's the uh, Alicia one, the the leader of the Sovereign, and she makes the cocoon that with Adam, with Adam Warlock. Yeah. Um. The final one is. The the final one is um which oh, again another spoiler they they and they've proven this now. Stan oh, Lee's yeah. a watcher. He's the watcher of Fortnite. He's he's a watcher. It's so awesome, and. Uh, they all start walking away from him. He's like, hey, you guys supposed to be my wife. My ride right home. home. What is the other? I can't remember. I swear we there's another one. just watched it. We did. And you my, sure my, there were five? I, I think there were five. I'm pretty sure there were five. I think it might have been just four. It might have been the four. I, in all honesty, I don't know. I remember reading at one point there was a, uh, they, <laughs> James Gunn's like, oh yeah, we're going to have like ten ending credit scenes. I'm like, Whoa, that's way too much. <laughs> that's getting getting a little risky there. Um, Nebula comes back in this movie, and she has this whole arc where she wants to kill Gamora, but she ends up not doing it because all she ever wanted was a sister. And then she gets it. And then she gets the sister. Um, yeah. Mantis is funny in this because Drax keeps telling her that she's ugly, but she's obviously not. <laughs> yeah. And You're so she, ugly. She's oh. like... I am glad to be ugly. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? Um, Groot's adorable, of course. I mean, Groot... Oh God, yes. I will say my favorite character in the entire series is Drax. Yeah. And mostly because he is Batista. <laughs> but he's so good at what he does with the yeah. metaphors in the first one. And then this one where he's like, I have very sensitive nipples. And they put it around him and he goes, I my nipples! And flies up in the air. So, um, right. The, uh, yes. Would you watch this movie again? Of course. Out of five? Out of five. Five of five? Five out of five. I, five out I'll of give five it a ten out of five, actually. Five out of seven lemons? <laughs> <laughs> I, wish I, could, I wish I could give the first one a higher, a higher rating. I'm pretty sure I gave that one a five, too. I think so. Um, but anyways, guys, 
we do have another poster to get away from James Hoko Arts. And I'm sure you can see it in the camera, but here's a better look at it. It's Mary Poppins, y'all. It's Mary Poppins, y'all. Uh, Yondu, uh, good old Michael Rooker here. God, the colors on that print. Look at it, dude. This is just beautiful. Look at the, it's vibrant. See all the detail in his it looks. It looks like they just took a picture of him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They got the arrow here. Ravager jacket. Uh, I love the I'm Mary Poppins, y'all, and they have the arrow little thing back there. Yeah. So, here's what we're going to do. Like, comment, and subscribe onto our new channel. Um, and, Mike, what uh, what challenge do you want to give them today? Hmm. Because I'm thinking... Favorite Infinity Stone and why? Okay, I'm down with that. Favorite Infinity Stone and why? I gotta give mine as a Power Stone. I mean, all you gotta do is... Yeah? <laughs> I kinda like the Space Stone, because you can open portals and go wherever you want. Yeah. But I kinda wanna see what the so, Space Stone and the Power Stone and yeah. all the stones are gonna do combined. But yeah. But uh, we're, gonna be, we're gonna be putting this on Facebook too, so remember to like, comment, subscribe onto that as well. Favorite um, Infinity Stone and why? Yep. Uh, I, mine is power. My space. So... Remember, guys, it's a really good, it's a really cool print, and we will be giving this away the day of Infinity War. Live stream. Live stream. And me and Mike are actually seeing it a day the 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 pre screening the day before. Hopefully, if it's not so, sold out, I can use my movie pass. So, um, That's why I gotta wait for it. Cause I can't buy it in advance. Well, I thought you were already gone. Oh, yeah. With uh, with Cat and yeah. Tyler, yeah. who's apparently not who. Doesn't come here. Um, Not yet. So, because um, I'm seeing it that Thursday, we're definitely going to get it to you on Friday. We're going to try our best to get it to you on that day. And if it's someone local to us, we'll hand deliver it. Yeah. We'll take it right there. So, anyways, we'll guys. Make a video of it on Venture. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm like Brian Adventure. <laughs> um, anyways, guys, thank you so much. I'm Brian. I'm Mike. And we'll see you next time. Yeah.